Welcome to the video today where I am going to be mounting a GoPro on this Shoei helmet. So this is a Shoei Quest and it was made in December 2011. So I just got this helmet recently. It was an old stock at one of our local motorcycle shops. So I picked it up for 200 bucks. I think it was a pretty good deal. I think it was originally somewhere in the $500 mark. I'm going to be setting this helmet up for to do some vlogging or at least some uh, video capture right now. So without further ado, let's start fitting this thing for the GoPro. As of right now, I've fabbed up this bracket configuration for my GoPro. This is the case for a GoPro Hero 2. That Hero 2 will be changed out for one of my latest acquisitions, which was a Hero 5 Black. But the Hero 5 Black battery is dead right now, and I need to get this thing pointed in the right orientation. So comes in the Hero 2 with the piggyback screen. I never really use the screen very much, as you can tell. The plastic protectant film is still on there. So, that'll be able to display what it's looking at and hopefully we can find a good angle and good placement on the helmet. First and foremost, I'm thinking that I want my left side free for the placement of a communications tool. So that leaves us with the right side or chin mount but uh, I don't mind, this is a very basic helmet, I got a good deal on it so I don't mind putting a couple of GoPro stickers on there for different views anyways so I figure let's start with the side mount let's, uh, let's try to get a nice side mount view maybe, you know, typically you see a little bit of the rider's visor um, and uh, chin guard so maybe that's the kind of look we're going to go for so let's get our GoPro put in the housing and we will have a look and see what we have. I already know that I'm going to mount it in this bottom area here but it's just a matter of how far back it's going to have to go for the view we want. Turn on our GoPro here we are alright so with this view We have a pretty good view forward. I think that's as good a view forward as you're going to want. We got a little bit of the side of the helmet. If needed, we can rock it outwards, left and right. We can tilt this up and down to correct for head placement. So I'm just going to slide it front to back real quick see what we're getting. So we're always having about the same amount of helmet showing. So I figure back here too far and we're getting into the hinge view. Let's see if you guys can see that. See the hinges of the side of the visor. May not be desirable to look at. Maybe here because we can see a little bit through the visor with the wide aspect video on and we can easily rotate that back a little to center our view so we're looking at right under the hinge it's giving us a pretty good view so I think we should be safe to attach and stick with that plan literally I'm thinking right there I think right there should be pretty good for us Alright, so we just peel it off. Oh, for this kind of angle. There we go. So 
let's get back with our camera again. At least once you get it set properly to the way you want it, you don't have to mess around with it very much after that. So I'm lining up the top of the screen with the top of my doorway. I'm seeing that as pretty much equal. I think that will do. Now you can put these in thumb tight, but I prefer to lock them in a bit more solid than that. Now, some may not recommend this to you, but I've been doing this for numerous years now with my dirt bike uh, GoPro, which we have on here. And I've not had any issues. It's all about tightening it within reason. So, there you have it. Hopefully we get some good footage with this GoPro. So that's about it for now folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of mounting a GoPro on the side of my Shoei helmet and I'll see you guys soon.